Loki Season 2 is on the horizon, and it's going to be even bigger and better than the first season. Continuing the story with the TVA, Loki must now try to find a way to stop King the Conqueror from taking over. So let's check out what to expect in Season 2. So as we left off in Season 1, Loki and his variant, Sylvie, discovered that He Who Remains, a Kang variant, was in charge of monitoring the sacred timeline, and he created the TVA to help keep the multiverse from spiraling out of control. He Who Remains tells them the story of his other variants, evil versions of himself, hell-bent on conquering not only one timeline, but all of them. Then, Sylvie killed He Who Remains, leaving no one to stop the sacred timeline from branching into the multiverse. As Loki headed back to the TVA to warn the others, he found a huge statue of Kang, indicating that he was too late. We've had some other projects in between this that dealt with the multiverse. Multiverse of Madness, for one, and Quantumania, where we actually meet Kang face to face. But I don't think this is the one we'll be seeing in Kang Dynasty. Anyway, in Loki Season 2, Loki will be trying to find a way to stop Kang. He suddenly starts glitching in and out of universes and enlists the help of Mobius and another TVA agent to find out why. Loki glitches to the early 1900s, where he and Mobius encounter a Kang variant named Victor Timely, an inventor who's showing off his latest inventions at a world fair. It's hard to say if this variant is evil or not, but from what I heard, he's good and actually helps Loki in the series. Obviously, Sylvie will return. I'm not sure about her character arc in this one. I mean, she's still a Loki at the end of the day, so her being good is kind of a coin toss. But I'm sure she'll assist Loki and the others in finding out why Loki has been glitching. Another popular character that's returning is Agent Mobius, played by Owen Wilson. Wow! There's talk of the series diving into his backstory a little bit more, and there's a scene where we see them at a jet ski place, because in Season 1, Mobius mentioned always wanting to ride a jet ski. There was a realization in Season 1 where all the agents of the TVA were variants who were pulled from different timelines and were brainwashed to be TVA agents, completely forgetting about their past lives. So, this plays into the Mobius jet ski thing. He loves them, but doesn't know why. I'm sure we'll find out in Season 2. Another character making a comeback is Ravana Renslayer. She was the one who we assume ran the TVA before we find out all about He Who Remains. At the end of Season 1, she gets freed from the brainwashing and goes on a mission to discover who she really is. One variant we saw was a high school principal, but in the comics, we know her as Kang's love interest. So I wonder if that will translate to the MCU. And lastly, we'll learn a lot more about Miss Minutes, the talking clock mascot of the TVA. There seems to be a lot more to her than what we've been shown. Maybe Miss Minutes isn't just some talking AI. Maybe there's some sinister intentions there. The only other thing I can say is that Season 2 will help put us on the path to Secret Wars. With the multiverse in shambles and incursions happening all over the place, this season could talk more about the timelines and how the TVA will start to pull heroes from across the multiverse, leading into Deadpool 3. Because as we know, Deadpool 3 will also feature the TVA. And that's about it, really. I can't wait to see what this season holds. And of course, guys, I'll see you on the review.